Don't worry everyone, I've downloaded the correct teams. You're welcome. My team, the Gloucesters. Gloucesters shit here. They're gonna be batting first. Alright, what do we got here? I feel like all of these players have different names. 3 for 150, coming to the crease. I'm still averaging 47. So I'm not terrible. I just need to be better. That's it. Be better. Oh. That is a tight leave in the end. Yes. Now oh, it was full. But I'll only get the one. Lots of, uh, lots of empty seats here at this game. Slight disappointment. Wanted a bit more vibe in the crowd. Waiting. And the spinner comes into the attack. Now, the spin got me both times in the previous match. So I'm really hoping that I do not get out to spin this time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm able to really just play it a bit smarter. This might go all the way. And it has. I really uh, appreciate everyone's comments on the videos uh, lately. Oh my god, that is very close. Because I do go through and I read them every night and they're always very wholesome and some people have some really good feedback on things that um, need to be changed or adjusted or things that they think I could do differently. I think some people are like, you should have played in the IPL. And I was like, well, I haven't got an IPL contract so I can't really do anything about that. Uh, then people are like, turn the bowling difficulty up. Maybe we'll get less bat pads. Turn the bowling difficulty up. Still similar number of bat pads. So I guess that's just the way it is sometimes. And then someone insulted me. They said... I've become more of a bowling all-rounder <gasps> than a bat batting all-rounder. Which is fairly true because I take bloody fivers for days, don't I? And yet I can't score runs consistently enough. It's always like a two or a three, like a 20 or a 30. Like there might be a couple of good innings, but there's just not enough in a row. That is punched away and to the boundary. Because I feel like I actually have gotten much better at my batting uh, more recently. It's just... I don't know. I feel like because I've played so much T20 cricket, um, I haven't really been able to be patient enough in the, the longer form of the game. And also, there's another little factor at play here is because I've been recording so many videos, right... Sometimes I don't have the time to record a really long video. So I kind of rush my innings mentally a little bit. And it and it means that I play less patiently. Because I'm like, I need to score runs. I need to score it quickly. Like, I need to get this done within an hour. Yep. And then I don't play as good or as patiently or as smart as I normally should. Yeah! yeah! Oh, <laughs> no. Like, that is just disappointing. That is a ripping way to get out. Oh, get stuffed. Honestly, get stuffed. How have you taken that catch? Four for 167, just the 16 runs to my name. Oh, this should be a run out. I don't know what was going on there. I just had a look, and all of a sudden they're turning for two where there's really not two. Because the keeper gets the ball, and they're both halfway down the pitch. Not even in the frame. Oh, my goodness. Harry came, and Harry went for 36. One for 75. Jeez, I'm really happy with myself there. I thought that was quite good. This pitch a little bit better in terms of its... Quality, less grass than the previous one. How was that? No. Okay. That's how it was. Oh, that's a bad hit, but lucky for them, no one in the way. Ah, it's in the gap. It's four. And Derbyshire really starting to, I guess, make a mockery of this game. They've got the lead. I mean, the lead's only 27, but they've actually got seven wickets in the shed. Winning. Which means it's probably going to be a big win for them. Yep. Oh, run out chance. Oh. 
The team's going in an economy of 3.8. I'm going at about 4.7. Well, it's just constant runs being hit, and at the moment, I don't know whether this pitch is the right one for me to be bowling on. Just don't seem to have the same level of momentum as I've had in previous games, you know? Oh, that is so unlucky that he smothered that. Oh, catch it! Oh, I'm so emotional. It's taken 26 minutes, but finally we've got a wicket. It's felt like forever. Lewis Reese, Louis Reese, 157. Lose deploy the next man in. No, oh, it's gone over your head, mate, because you ran in front of the stumps. I'm chasing this. Tap it back, tap it back, tap it back. Oh, you're going to hit this straight over cover, I reckon. Oh. Oh, again. Another delivery you feel like. Surely there's an edge or a nick or a, a yep. bat pad or something. Yep. How are you still hitting the ball there? You're embarrassing yourself by cheating with that shot. That's what you're doing. Oh. Catch it. Oh, That's what you get. That's what you get. Cop that. You think you can play that shot? I think I can get you out. Later, boss. I've bowled 15 overs. Which is a lot oh, for a number five to be bowling. Yep. And you'd have to say that the reason my batting has probably declined is because I've had to bowl so many overs because I've been too bloody good at it. Jeez, I can sense some real aggression in my play today. Waiting. <laughs> Especially bowling, oh, what was that, like 10 overs without getting a wicket? Real aggression. Oh, I wonder if it will oh, carry oh, over into the next innings and I play with real aggression. Oh, I reckon! I reckon it's out! That's hit him back pad, crashing into the top of off stump. Oh, <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> yeah, how can you give that not out? It's, it's plum. It's plum. Oh, umpire, please. That one. For God's sakes. Jeepers. It was absolutely plum. That was my phone that went off before everyone. Apologies. Oh, nice ball. It was my mother sending me a text. Hello, mum, if you're watching. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! Oh, sorry, I've hit the microphone. Apologies. Apologies, everyone. That's number four. Get out of here. Michael Cohen out for a duck, 7 for 340. All right. All right, we're in the game here. Did they put in a night watchman? Why did they swap the guy, the number? They put the number 10 in instead of the number uh, number 8. Did they put in a night watchman for the number 8? Or oh, not too long ago. There's actually a fielder out right there. Can he get to it? Can he get to it? He can't. Oh, Give it some air. And you guess we'll... Oh, he'll keep the strike. Should have moved the fielders around. That poor game awareness for me, as the commentators in Australia would say. They would crack the shits. They love cracking the shits, the Australian commentators. Especially Warney sometimes. They'll be like, that's just poor game awareness. I don't know why they don't just bring all the fielders in. Really. To me, that just, that's just bad captaincy. That's poor captaincy, really. So I probably deserve to be scolded for that. Also, it's pretty dark here. Surely there can't be long left. It says it's 10.49 a.m. Waiting. And this is the conditions I'm playing in. Come on, England. Turn on the bloody lights. Come on, England. Come on, England. Is it going to rain? That might actually save us. We could get a draw. We could actually play out the draw. 
Although, what day is it? It's day three. Oh, start of day three. So I think the draw is probably out of the question. It's even darker. It's even darker now. And you expect me to be batting here. Yep. Yes. Finally off the mark. With a great shot through the covers. Or through sort of cover point. Now, I'm really excited because there's a lot that is going to be happening very, very soon in the world of sport in Australia. Obviously, the uh, Australia will be touring Pakistan for the first time in a number of years. Uh, and then also, the AFL season is like three weeks away. Which is the most exciting thing for me. A lot of my international viewers, or even, I guess, people who are outside of uh, Victoria and uh, South Australia and WA will be like, what is AFL? It is, uh, I suppose, one of Australia's national sports. One of the football codes we play here, Aussie Rules Footy. If you've seen the Shane Warne documentary on Amazon Prime, you'd know maybe a little bit about it. He talks a little bit about it in that. End of the over. Uh, but it's a sport that I do I do love, I do love going. I went and watched a practice match today between Richmond and Geelong. It was fantastic to see the team out for the first time in the year for the year. And the official preseason starts next week. Yeah, yeah. And then we're into the real stuff. So I don't know, maybe would I be do I bring back videos of me at the football this year? Something that I might do. We'll wait and see. That's a lovely shot from me, by the way. A little bit higher on the bat than I would have liked. Oh, uh, that is not where I wanted to hit that, but it's six. And that's in the upper deck. That is a monster hit. I've tried to hit this through mid on. Instead, it has flown off the bat into the upper deck. Uh, it didn't show me how far it was. Because that was a very big six. Wait on. I was very happy with that. It's still so dark. Would they be actually... For, for my England viewers... England? England? For my UK slash England viewers... Wait there. Would they actually play in these types of overcast conditions where it is quite dark and difficult to see? Does this almost look like there's a storm coming or it's about to rain? Is this, is this regular conditioning in the county cup, in county cricket? Yep, again, I think all of my boundaries have come through the offside. Actually, I think I've only I've hit four boundaries in 18 balls. I don't think I've hit a single yet this innings. Yep, lovely. That's my favourite shot, I think. Through the offside, a little bit tonky, a little bit good. It's just the crunch it makes off the bat. And we're only four runs behind now to get the lead back. Actually, this could go over the top. Waiting. Oh, don't get caught out by that bloke again. Remember what happened in the first innings? Yeah, don't do that. We've actually got the lead. Didn't even realise. That is the lead for us. Okay, so now we can set a target. If, by some miracle, I end up uh, with a big score. Let's say you won 20 runs. Say my partner on average gets the same. We can lead by what about 200 and 200 runs which isn't yeah. game winning by any stretch of the imagination but it is a challenge oh in the air but safe and four it was just too full for me to miss out on yeah, yeah. this one there might be two in it Field is a little slow. Yeah, keep back, keep back. Field is a little slow. And he's just very slow. And we get the two. He really didn't deserve that. Jeez, the crowd is absolutely piled in. I'm not even sure they can see the action. It's that dark, oh, but they're piled in. Well, Bracey's made it to his 50. I'd like to do the same. Cohen coming round the wicket. That's a wide. Oh dear. Again, not in the area I was hoping, but it's a boundary and it's a 50. Lovely stuff. Have a look at him. Yes. Smart batting. 
good knowledge from my teammate as well that I was going to run. Look at the 50. It has been a bizarre one. Plenty of boundaries, couple of twos, couple of singles. Last few overs, they really have done a good job at limiting my scoring. Wait there. Like, they're just bowling the right lines, the right lengths. Seems like they finally worked me out. Like that. That's a very good delivery because it's hard to get away. Yep. Oh, the perfect drive down the ground. All the way, I hope. Yes. So I was saying if I scored about 120, we'd lead by about 200, right? Wait. Oh, that's in the air and just bounced before short mid-wicket. Was half a chance for him. But yeah, so at the moment we're up by 80-something. Um, and I'm on 71. Yeah, yeah. So, as I said, if I do get another 50-odd runs, hoping my partner does something similar, then we end up with that result of, you know, the, the 200-run lead. Yes. Oh, that's four, I think. Nobody there. Into the 80s. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Behind point. That'll be another one, another boundary. Upish over four. Oh, that is all the way. Oh, one bounce. It was so full, you had to take it on. All right, we're on 99. Four for 304. It's two straight, we'll take the single. That will be the 100. The Gloucester crowd, you can see them get up and about in the background. They know it's there. The batsman gets their tons. Huge ton. Look at the celebrations on him. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. Brings up the 100. What an extraordinary performance. This has been one of my better readings, I think. For 109 balls. I've been relatively patient. It's been quite difficult to see at times. But I've stuck with it. Knowing it's the third innings and knowing that the game is well and truly on the line. Oh, no run. Yes. oh a few in that. Coverfielder didn't want anything to do with running that ball down. Made the mid off do it. Oh, bang. Slams it home down the ground for six. Oh, I didn't quite get it away, did I? I've put it in some with some air, and it's a boundary. Up and over and four again. There's just nobody there, and now is a chance for me to show off my T20 uh, and power hitting style game. Now that we are yeah, yeah. Oh, in a bit better of a position. Oh, I've burnt my teammate here. I've absolutely cooked him. Am I out or is he out? That's the question. Because I thought it came off my glove. But no, Tom Lace is out. Okay, well, that's my fault. I have put him on the cooker and he has been absolutely roasted to a crisp. My bad. Wait there. I won't let yeah, yeah. it... Uh, I won't let it happen again. In other words, I'm just going to keep hitting boundaries. <laughs> oh, yes. there's nobody out there, and that is more runs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bang, cop that. That's just pure greatness. Shot of the day. Oh, again, through the cover region. It'll be four more runs. It'll be 150 for me. Off 149 deliveries, 23 fours and a couple of sixes there. It's, as I said earlier, it's been a big knock and it's been an important knock that Gloucester have needed. Yep. Because we're, what, 193 behind. It's a long way back. I'm actually, we're 193 in front. Never mind, ignore me. Is there another number 29? Come on, mate. Sick of everyone else having the number 29. I mean, Hanscom's obviously got it. The keeper's wearing it. 
and the bloke Higgins at the other end's got it as well. Yeah, yeah. It's just simplicity personified a boundary. There's the 168. Look at it. It's, it's glorious. It's been so many runs. Mostly boundaries through the offside. Here's the scoring breakdown for me. Uh, flip the onside and offside because they're wrong. But 94 runs through the offside and that cover region. Let's put that to perspective on the onside. There's only been 54 runs uh, for the entirety of the onside. There's a real opportunity here to get a massive score. Yes. Like in the 200s, I'm thinking. Currently 172. Still five wickets in hand. That my teammates at the other end are actually doing a pretty good job of sticking around. They're not just, you know, falling easily. Like this has been a 50 run partnership even though my teammates made 10 runs. With the game pretty much in a, I guess, a very difficult position for us uh, not too long ago, we now have a lead of 222 after coming into this innings 180 runs down, 179 runs behind. Oh, I've hit it in the air. And there is a man there, but it's well over his head for six. It has been a grim, overcast day. This entire day has been grim and overcast, and we haven't seen too much happen because of that. Oh, can I get the two? I need a break. Get me off strike. Five, four, one, one. Oh, that's six more. It sounded very good, and it's up into the third tier of the stand. Ball was just wide, and you can see here, bang. Look how high it went. Yes. Oh, beats the fielder. He dives, trying to save it, but it's looks like it's rolling, and it'll be four. There it is. It's going to be four runs, and my first and double ton of this career. 27 fours, five sixes, 200 runs. Oh, that's out, I think. Have you been stumped? Have I been stumped? Yep, I've been stumped. That is the... Honestly, getting out like that is infuriating. But 200 is a great score. Like, that is the type of performance you put in to give your team a chance to win. And they've gone and done it! Gloucester have won by 222 runs. My double ton and four wickets in the first innings enough to win us the game. I was also involved in a run out as you saw. There was two run outs in that last innings. But Warner goes bang, 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 bang to get the wickets at the end. And they get rolled for 140. After a 500 run, uh, after 378 in the first innings, huge from up. It's just huge everywhere. Gloucester winning by 222. What about this tournament? Where do I sit? I sit as the number one player of the series at the moment. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. We're going to come back with a game against Northampton tomorrow. But that is a ripping, ripping performance. It's, it's about two hours worth of a match. So I really hope you enjoyed it. We got our first double ton. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you all later.